Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Realm of Vastin on Preseason 6. Today, I want to show you some video that I created back on April 23rd. No spoilers here, it's actually the opposite. Some things have already been changed. We are going to start at spawn, and we're taking the road all the way to Gravenwall. My castle is off to the right, church is on the left, straight ahead is Adventurer's Guild. Turn right here, past my castle. These roads were here. I am added some markings around some of them. The bridges were also here. Even the house to the left there was already here. The white stone on the sides of the road I added to make the road easier to see when galloping on a horse. The white stone is actually diorite using the texture pack it more looks like white cobblestone i just realized that i never really explained what vastin is the realm of vastin the kingdom chronicles server came to a close and i was asked to go with roscoe and mir and i did to go play on the Realm of Vastin. The Realm of Vastin is a content creator, Kingdom Craft styled Minecraft SMP. I promise I will explain more about what that is later. One of the rules on the server is that every build has to have a road. And so I was following this road along and it had a dirt bridge, which you can see in the middle of this bridge, is the dirt path that was there. I rebuilt the bridge, but left the dirt. This bridge, I took out the dirt. Both bridges are ones that I built when I was traversing this road. I was on horseback because I didn't have an elytra. And if I couldn't see the road clearly, decided to fix it by marking the road more clearly. Here I used stone blocks on either side of the road to mark out the, where the road went. In other cases, like this one here, I actually made a stone pathway up to serve as the road to even out how steep this path was. This is a naturally spawning village that was created by the game. I followed the road to the village and added signs saying welcome to Acacia. Once I did that I figured out which way the road left the village and moved on while marking the road so that it was easy to tell which way to go to get through the town. The village was already here, I just gave it the name, partly because it wasn't named yet. I sometimes added walls to prevent you from going off in the wrong direction. On roads that didn't go anywhere. I would also add signs to indicate where the main road was. And at this point, I just didn't mark the edges of the roads. It seemed pretty simple to see exactly where the road was using the, just the path blocks. Since this group of players builds as a team, sometimes I built a bridge like this, and then someone came along and vastly improved it. That bridge is better than the one I built. 
kept following the road and found another village built by the game. I added signs saying this one would be called Emerald. Follow the signs to stay on the main road and you leave the village going this way. At this point I went back to marking at least where the road was was since it was in my opinion a little harder to follow it was narrower and it wasn't as clear and this is of course trying to navigate this road on horseback as fast as it would gallop another bridge I built working on building roads for two or three days will teach you a lot about building roads I really like the road here. It's a nice design. And this bridge I named, but somebody else rebuilt it. I think it says a bridge to nowhere. Here we see another village spawned by the game. And this bridge I built, but it has been redone since then. And we're back to another section of road that's not built, followed immediately by a section that is built. It's an interesting road. I don't know what else to say about it. The Realm of Vastin has been going on for four years. Each season they focus on one large kingdom with a lot of builds within it. And then every three or four months, they stop and start a new season. This bridge I built. It's one of the first ones, because I've actually built this road coming from the other direction that I'm traveling right now. I was coming back from the mangrove forest. The mangrove forest is a project of Fix It. You may remember him hiring me to work on the floor of the forest. It's a random pattern, and the trees were created by him, or at least placed by him. And that's an ongoing project, actually. But now I have finished the floor, so the f I believe the forest is done. But back to the story of the realm. The basic storyline is that a war, the world, is at war with the nether. That means no nether pathways. Instead, we use ships to teleport the player from port to port. The main hub is the capital world of Port Bray. And of course, Treville is the town that is at spawn. Now this bridge that is coming up, along with the staircase right after it, this I built to replace the one that was temporary. And here you can see the mangrove forest with the customized trees and the randomized floor pattern. And this path meanders through the customized forest, the mangrove forest. And then all that's left to do is travel a little further to get to the city of Gravenwall. Up to this point, the road was already marked. If it wasn't built, it was at least an indicator was there to show where the road would be. When I started looking and looked at the road on this side of the mangrove forest, there was no indicators where someone laid out where the road should go. So at this point, I was winging it. And up here, there's a large stone mountain, which you can't go through. You pretty much have to go around. And I'm not sure which is the best way to go. I chose right. And I knew on the map there's a village in this direction. But I'm not sure where. And that's a nice bridge. I didn't build that one. At this point, I stopped knowing where to go. I couldn't, I didn't know which exact direction was the 
village I was looking for. And if you look carefully in this direction, that is a pillager outpost, so we don't want to go that way. But if we look this direction, I th we come upon the village that I was looking for. And I didn't connect the roads, but I started building the road again from here towards Gravenwall. The road still has to be connected from the two points. But at least here it goes into Graven Gravenwall. And I put a sign saying, Welcome to Gravenwall, right here at this brick marker. And built a staircase down and created the road that went the rest of the way into the city. This city is not good for walking. You pretty much have to have an elytra to navigate it. And that's the trip. And we are back at the castle. Grey Towers Castle. And I'm going to continue working on this build. Building up the castle walls and creating a special port of sorts. Start working on the way I am going to get back and forth from Bray to my personal base. And I'm not going to use a wagon. Instead, I'm going to use a balloon. Just because I want to. And I think it'll look cool. So, from here, let's go up and start looking at the place where I want this to be, which is the roof of this building. However, we're going to save that for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But until next time, goodbye. goodbye.